everyone, today I have a haul video for you. I was contacted by someone from Galen Leather and they asked me if I wanted to collaborate with them. I hadn't come across them before they reached out to me so I had a good look on their website to see what they did and some of their products that I saw were just absolutely stunning. I'm actually surprised that I haven't come across them before this because a lot of the stuff was very up my street and I know many people who would also love this stuff. As you can probably tell, they are a company that works with leather. <laughs> they also have a lot of products that are wooden and they create things that are for pens and stuff. So I went on the website and picked out a few things I wanted to try out. They arrived literally yesterday and I was going to film this video a little later on in the week but I can't wait. I want to get it open and I want to start playing with it all so here I am now <laughs> sitting down and recording this for you. It all arrived in a big old box and I have unboxed it from that and I have them here in all their separate packages just to make it a bit easier. In the packages it does come with a little like info card telling you a bit about them and basically Galen Leather was founded in 2012 in Istanbul. Um, it was started by two people and it started as a hobby and they were just making like simple journal covers. They've built it up from there and they now work with leather products, brass and wood. So these two things were little freebies that came with the packages and in here there's a tea bag and a little package of instant coffee just like a little extra freebie. I don't drink tea or coffee so I'll pop them downstairs in our kitchen for anyone who does want them. I didn't know that this was going to come in a pencil case as it's packaging. So these are Tomoe River journal inserts. I think that's how it's said. I've heard it been said a few different ways but I'm pretty sure it's Tomoe River. It also came with this which I'm not quite sure what it is. I think it's paper samples. It also looks like there's a bit of leather in there as well so I don't know if it's something to lean on when you're writing in it or something like that. It says this notebook uses Tomoe River 52 gram white paper made in Turkey blank 11 by 21 centimeters and 128 pages. I have always been very intrigued by this because apparently it is super thin paper but it takes ink really, really well. Oh my goodness, it is so thin. It is so thin, like it feels like tissue paper. So in this pack you get three inserts and it does come with the pencil case as well, which is a really decent sized pencil case. I'm loving all the details of this. I do, even though I love all my colorful stuff, the vintagey, like wooden, brown leather sort of thing also massively appeals to me. So yeah, those are the inserts. When I actually sit down and have a play around with that, I'm gonna share some pictures and stuff on my Instagram. Um, so those are the inserts. I think they're 20 pound for three. I think that's how much it is. I'm gonna go through the prices of everything at the end. I then got a pencil case, which comes in this really nice box. Um, the quality of this is like proper nice. It is a sturdy, sturdy box. So I'm probably gonna end up using this to store something else in. But this is the pencil case that I chose. Oh, I, I can't. So like I said, they had a lot of brown leather stuff and like lots of wooden things and lots of, you know, muted colored things. But they also had the option of some brighter colored products. So this was one of them. This is the extra large pencil case. Um, I think they do a smaller one that can fit like a couple of pens in. But I love this sort of style pencil case because it's one that opens up quite wide. Like it's not one that you're going to struggle to get stuff in. I can get my hand in there. So if I need to find a pen or pencil that's at the bottom of it, um, I can definitely do that in this pencil case. I of course chose it in yellow because why wouldn't I? <laughs> and the colour of this and how it's turned out is just beautiful. Obviously it's real leather so there are some marks and stuff on it but that's part of the grain of the leather so you can't really avoid that if you're buying a leather product. This is one of their journal covers. I got the A5 size one so it should fit around my Leuchtturm. I'm currently using this pink one and I did originally ask for the pink one of these but it was sold out so I went for the brown one instead. They did also have a yellow one of that too but I thought let's not go all yellow everything. <laughs> um, let's try and mix it up a bit. So yeah, I have this brown one. This again is obviously leather, so it will have different marks on it with the grain. So there's a few marks up here. And with things like this, it will scratch, which I'm actually looking forward to because I love how things like that look. So inside it looks like this. It did say on the website that there was space here for an iPad mini. I do have an iPad mini, but it has a case on it. I don't know if you can use it with the case on. I might go grab it and give it a go. But this is where your notebook is meant to go in on the little elastic band um, and it folds over like that. And then you can just fold this around it and bring this elastic band 
around the front. So that is how it looks when it has your notebook in it. Let me go and grab my iPad mini and I'll see if it fits. This is my iPad mini. I don't think it's gonna fit with the case, um, especially the case and <laughs> this. No, it's not. Which is kind of annoying because I like having my case on my iPad mini. A lot of the time I tend to use this for Netflix or just Spotify or something. And for Netflix, I need a stand. So <laughs> this case, of course, has a stand built into it. But if I don't have it in the case, let's see, will it fit? That's quite a tight fit for an iPad mini. On the website, it does have photos of an iPad in the back pocket. It could be because the leather is tight um, and it just needs to be stretched a bit, but oh, I don't know. I don't like it. I'm not gonna force it. Like I shouldn't have to force it that much to get it in there. Um, so I'm not gonna use my iPad in there, which is kind of a bit frustrating because I am always bringing my planner and my iPad in and out of my office and my bedroom because I use both of them in both the rooms. So it would have been handy to keep them both together in one like thing. Even though it showed on the website that you could fit an iPad mini in there, I just don't want to force it particularly. I'll just keep it for my planner, I think, is probably the safest option. And I can always use that pocket for other things. Over this side, we have two little card slots. There is a bigger pocket here. There's also a little band and a pen loop. And then another big pocket in the back. On the website, they're showing that you could fit your phone in here, which, again, I have a case on my phone because I don't tend to use <laughs> my phone without a case. In the photo, it did look like they're using a smaller phone. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I just, I'm, I like the idea of keeping your, like, gadgets and stuff with your planner, like, all in one place. When it comes down to it, it's just a bit more clunky and awkward than I originally thought. Like I said, it does come in many different colours, and they also do different sizes too. So if you do use a smaller planner or journal, then there is options for the smaller size. The last thing that I have to show you is in here. This is something that I'm pretty excited about. This is something that I'm gonna keep in my bedroom. It is one of their wooden products and it is so beautiful. I can't get over how pretty it is. It is a little bit bigger than A4 sized wooden case. So you can use this to lean on to clip paper on and write, but it also has a little tray underneath, which I haven't sorted out yet. Um, it still has all the little tags and stuff in. And in here it has a little divider so you can pop this up and you can put pens, you can put paper in here. So I'm planning to use this in my bedroom to keep some of my letter writing stuff in there because a lot of the time when I finish work, that's when I tend to want to write letters and I like doing it in my bedroom, kind of like out of a work scenario, like out of my workspace. So I'm planning to keep a lot of my like pens, my favorite paper, envelopes, stuff like that in here and keep it all in my bedroom. So when I want to sit down and write letters, all I have to do is pull out this thing, take out my papers and pens, and then just sit there and write some letters. It's a very, very simple design. The tray opens out from this side and it does have a little hook on here to stop it from coming open, but it is a bit loose, so I'm gonna have to tighten this because it keeps falling down. And then on the other side, you have a little hole so you can push the drawer out. Um, so you can get into there very very easily without having any like awkward handles or anything on the side and then this up here has two little rubber dots i don't know if you're going to be able to see it you can kind of see them under there there's two rubber dots which will hold your paper something i'm a bit worried about is denting the wood when i'm using it to write on i want to try and find some sort of thin cardboard or something to clip on here and then when i'm writing letters i don't have to have them clipped in when i'm writing them more than anything it's just a surface to lean on but i just think it's so so beautiful i love anything that's like smooth wood it just looks so pretty. So that is everything I've been sent from Galen Leather. I'm gonna go through the prices of everything. They are more on the expensive side. So the A5 notebook cover is £49. The yellow pencil case is £26. And that comes in quite a few different colours. They also have a load of different style pencil cases on there as well. The pack of three Tomo River paper inserts were £21. And then the wooden box, which is called the wooden sketch box, um, this is £72 and again with that they do have many different like wooden products that you can buy too. They also had this which is like a washi tape dispenser which looks so smart. I was tempted by that but I don't currently have anywhere on my desk that I could put it so 
yeah, I went without. Obviously I was sent these things for free, so I can't really give much input on the shipping and stuff. I do know that it's coming from abroad. It did arrive via UPS. I didn't pay anything for the shipping or any like customs or anything like that, but I don't know if there would be customs if you were buying directly from their website. As far as the quality and the products go, first impressions wise, I'm pretty impressed. I just think they're absolutely lovely. I'll obviously be able to give more of an opinion once I've used everything a bit more. But yeah, first impressions, I'm very happy and I cannot wait to start using it all. I'll have links below if you are interested in buying anything. As always, if you do have any questions, then let me know down below as well. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.